I wish to enjoy a of in person. Vobol. What is this? I will attempt to use Vobol. Vobol is difficult to install. Which is better, Age of Empires 2 on Steam or Age of Empires 2 on Voobly? Now, while this answer is very complicated, and I'm definitely not going to answer that in this video, one reason many people don't like Voobly is because it used to be very difficult to get Voobly running if you had the HD edition. You had to use a bunch of time to search for the correct compatibility patch, you had to run this patch, you had to find Voobly and install that, and if you managed to do all of this, you would have to mess around with a lot of Voobly settings in order to get the game to run anywhere near as well as you need to. If you knew what you were doing, it really wasn't that that difficult, but if you didn't, it could be very hard to figure out what to do correctly. However, a few months ago, a community member called Greg Stein created a tool called the HD to AOC conversion tool that bypassed a lot of the manual work, making it far easier to install Voobly. Despite this, it wasn't an all-in-one installation, you still had to separately get Voobly in Wellolo Kingdoms. Today, however, I am pleased to announce that the creator of this tool has made a new one, which is very simple and an easy all-in-one installation of Voobly, the Age of Conquerors conversion, and Wololo Kingdoms. Now, just in case you're wondering why many people might choose Voobly, it's because in all honesty it has a lot less lag and desyncs, you have some better lobby customization options, and you have User Patch, which allows for a better and much smoother in-game experience. Even if you still choose to use HD after you get Voobly set up, it's still nice to have it so that way you can play with friends or on a community game that's Voobly only. Now, before we start, AoE2 Tools primarily functions as an all-in-one installation of the Voobly version of Age of Empires 2, but it also has a few other features that make navigating this game far easier. So even if you've already got Voobly, I recommend getting AoE2 Tools. So to start off, the steps are pretty simple and self-explanatory, but I'll walk you through it just to make sure you completely understand what you're doing. To start, download the tool and then extract the file. Run AoE2 Tools as administrator. Now, you're not actually running the tools yet, you're just installing it. Your virus software may run a scan, but it's really not a problem. You'll then start the installation guide for the tool. Set language, create a desktop shortcut if you want, which is recommended because you'll definitely use it later. You can then hit next and then hit install. Once the setup wizard is finished, it should automatically launch AoE2 tools. You'll start by allowing it to scan. This will see if you have the original Age of Conquerors version installed. If you already do, you'll skip step one, which is converting HD to AOC. Assuming you don't have AOC though, hit convert. Now to understand what you're doing in this step, let me briefly explain how Voobly and Steam work. Basically, both Voobly and Steam are game clients, with which you use to play games. They are not the games themselves. However, they both run the game from different directories. This means that even if you don't have the original disc and you're playing with Voobly, you're technically not playing the HD edition, but instead the original AOC version. Anyway, once you click convert and get through with any interference from virus programs, you'll see several options. Make install Voobly be set to auto. Make the game directory auto as well. This ensures that you won't install it into a protected directory such as your system files, like the old conversion tool did. Doing this therefore allows AOE2 tools to change some assets to add some customization, which is definitely preferable. Steam assets should also say ready. If it does not say it's ready, you'll have to manually find your game files. Now, it should be in this directory, and most likely if it's not, all that means is that you don't have AoE2 HD properly installed. Anyway, assuming that this is ready, you'll then move on to what's next. Look down below and you'll see your option for hotkeys, which is very important. The default option means it will keep your current AoE2 HD hotkey setup for Voobly. You could choose to use either a pro player setup, the default HD hotkeys, or the original AOC hotkeys, but I simply suggest you use your current ones because, after all, that's what you're used to. Lastly, there's an option to check some offline mods, such as grid, small trees, short walls, etc. Choose whichever ones you want to use, and then hit I'm ready, let's go to continue to the next screen. On the next screen, you'll see four steps. 
Step 1 should be instantaneous to see if you have Voobly. If you don't, during Step 2, Voobly will start to automatically install. Go through their installation guide by selecting your language and then signing in with an account you can create on their website. I won't show you how to do that because it's pretty self-explanatory. After you sign in to this new Voobly program on your computer, the Voobly game browser will then pop up. However, we're not quite ready, so just close this for now. It may take a while to get through the conversion and configuration setup, and then once you do that, you'll hit OK once it tells you that the conversion was successful. After yet another virus scan, you'll then be moved into the Manage AoE2 section of AoE2 Tools. You can come back to this section anytime just by relaunching AoE2 Tools once you finish here. Now, every time I've logged into AoE2 Tools, it detects that I'm missing user patch, whether or not I am. Hit fix it if you want to, but it's probably not that important because Voobly automatically does that for you anyway. If you do hit it, a nice little window will pop up telling you that you fixed it. After this, it will detect that Wolalo Kingdoms is missing. Now, Wolalo Kingdoms is actually a mod that enables you to play the HD expansions on Voobly. After you hit Fix It, another window will pop up, and then you should click on Download and Run. Once Wolalo Kingdoms downloads, a pop-up will tell you to select both when it comes to whether or not to do a Voobly or offline installation. Close the pop-up, then Wolalo Kingdoms should launch. Because Wolalo Kingdoms was originally a different program from AoE2 Tools, a few options do overlap, but that's fine. For Install Directory, the default should be correct, and hit Do Both Voobly and Offline Installation. For hotkeys, you have the option to pick several choices. I suggest using current HD hotkeys for the mod and Age of Conquerors, because it makes your hotkeys standard across the board, which makes it easier for playing the game. However, do what you want. The next few boxes aren't that important, but check them if you want to. Note, however, the boxes for mods. Again, they do overlap with what we did previously, but just set it how you want to so that way it'll be correct when you play Wololo Kingdoms. Hit run, and after a while, your conversion will be complete. You finished with your installation, and you could launch Voobly from here if you wanted to, but I suggest you mess around with AoE2 tools for a little bit first. In the middle column, you can set your language and taunts, as well as a few links to the game folders. This is good because it lets you add custom maps and AI to Voobly without having to search your entire computer for the correct folder to put stuff in. You can also click this button which allows you to manage some Voobly mods. Here you can see that I have a few map packs as well as custom textures installed, and that the Wololo Kingdom mod is installed correctly. Anyway, out of this, on the left you'll also have the option to drag and drop downloaded recorded games from Voobly, which lets you watch recorded games again without having to mess with game files that much. Also, as a side note, note that if you've installed AoE2 tools even though you previously had Voobly installed, it may ask you to move the game to a new directory. Again, do this because if it originally was in program files, a few features will not work properly because program files is a protected directory. Once you're done with AoE2 tools, launch and log on to Voobly and join either the New Player Lobby or the Medieval Siege Lobby. If it's your first time, you'll have to run through a quick install wizard again because it's installing the actual lobby browser. Once this is run through, reselect the lobby and then join a game. If you just want to make your own, hit Quick Host. In this game room, you'll see several settings under Game, but fortunately, AoE2 Tools has already set these up properly. You'll also see a Settings button, which lets you choose a mod to play, set the game rating, restore a game, watch a recording, and set spectator settings. And that's it! You're done! Launch the game, and then set your in-game settings like you would normally do. And then, if you're like me, be so bad at the game that the Barbarian AI can destroy you easily. Now, before you leave, I have a very important warning that I really need to tell you about. When you're playing your games, watch out for Jacob Peterson, Elite Shuko Noob, Ethan Brown, Sir Lawrence NZ, and John Kuminel. These dangerous people are my patrons at patreon.com slash jred, and the ability to have early access to scripts, upload schedule, and videos means that they'll be armed to defend themselves in a battle. So be careful when facing up against them, or alternatively, join them at my Patreon page, that way you too will gain these rewards. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.